Hello everyone, welcome back to Lab for Crypto. I'm very excited about today's video because first, it helped me strengthen my conviction about the growth potential of the crypto market and that helps me put more time and effort to deliver the platform to you guys to help you make these informed decisions. But also, I think it's going to be a video that you can send to friends and family that they want to know what is the growth potential of the crypto market and help them decide if it's worth it for them to join the market. Because if you are a developer or an investor that wants to know if it's worth it to spend your time to learn more about this industry and also invest some of your capital, it's, I think, worth it to know where this market is going in the future. And if the potential that you can see, it's actually very, let's say, worthwhile of your money and time. Let's dive in into the math now. I have made a Twitter post on the 14th of May about this model and I'm going to explain to you how I came up with this model and then we are going to see what actual value we can get from that model even in the short term and also in the long term. First, what I have done, I calculate the days since the creation of the first crypto, which we know it's Bitcoin. And on the y-axis, I put the total crypto market cap of all coins. So what is the market cap? Market cap is the supply of a coin multiply its price. For example, if we have 19 million Bitcoin available now, we multiply by its price and we get the market cap. For the total crypto market cap, we sum up the market cap of all coins, all 10,000 and more that exist. And what I wanted to know is the growth potential of this industry. And also my initial idea, I wanted to check because we know that Bitcoin follows a power law that we have also in the platform you can check, which its growth is with a power of 5.7. 5.71, if actually altcoin market managed to reduce or increase this exponent. So if actually the altcoin market, it's helping the, crypt, the total crypto market cap as a whole, or if it actually is damaging the growth of Bitcoin. But anyway, let's go to the findings now. By putting the days in a log scale, in both the X and, and the Y axis, we can see that it follows a straight line. And if you want to know how you can do that in more detail, you can click on the video that I have below because I showed exactly step by step how you can do the Bitcoin power law in a previous video, which also I have my writings and equation on paper as well, and also in a Python script, which you can use to reconstruct this model. But the idea in short is we put the days on a log scale and also the total market cap on a log scale. And we see the blue line is the total crypto market cap. If we do the fit, which is the orange line, we get this equation, which the exponent, which is the important thing is 6.83. And on the this thread, in short, I showed that the altcoin market is a net positive for the crypto market until now at least, because we can see the growth of the crypto market is greater than the growth of Bitcoin. But let's move to the platform now. If we go and see what this a model and equation is telling us you you will find the description below the model as always and how you can use it but if we go from the beginning of 2010 that we have data until let's say 2018 you will see we have these lines i'm going to hide some of them so we can get a better understanding why it's important to know this information the fit 
is actually the fair value of the total crypto market cap. And some people and some investors like Warren Buffett, for example, he accumulates an asset if it he considers to be an undervalue and he exits when he's starting to become um, overvalue. Therefore, we know currently that we are very close to our fair value. And if you click on the valuation, you will find the exact percentage, which now we are 18% under value. And you will see that the fair value of the total crypto market cap acted as a resistance recently because we are came really close to the fair value and then uh, we dropped. But let's go to the interesting part. If we check from 2010 until today, you will see the minus 60% line acted as a support, sorry, as a support for the total crypto market cap. Therefore, when you want to allocate some of your capital to the crypto market as a whole to Bitcoin or altcoins, you will see that when the blue line touches the orange line, it was the best time in the history of the crypto market to start to accumulating the asset of your choice. And of course, to pick your assets, we have thousands of charts and models that can help you do that. But now we are speaking about the crypto market as a whole. And then you will see that the plus two standard deviation line, it acted as a, a, a signal that we are approaching the top. And of course, as the crypto market becomes bigger and bigger, you will see that on the, the beginning of the crypto market, which basically was Bitcoin, it went well above the two standard deviation, which is the green line. And as years are passing, we are basically just when only above it by a small margin compared to previous cycles, the last cycle in 2021. Therefore, we can assume that the two standard deviation can act as a signal that we are approaching the top in the coming cycle. And if we project the line, you will see depending on where the top is going to be, for example, if it's going to be in May 2025, this line is at 9.5 trillion. So we are expecting the crypto market to start to topping out in this cycle at 10 trillion, roughly. But the more interesting part is if we go to the next cycle, for example, if you want to go to 2028, you will see that the total crypto market can reach values above 28 trillion, depending on the stage that you are in the cycle. The other interesting part, because we have this equation, we can gouge what it can happen in 15 years from now, because we have the data for this 15 years from the creation of the first crypto asset. And if we double that, if we use, if T imagine is the years, 15 years, and we use 2T, so in, thir in 30 years, what is going to happen, you will see that the crypto market in 15 years can have a growth that could reach 100 trillion, which is a huge value, I know, but with the data that we have now, this is where it's going. Of course, as the crypto market is growing, it's going to reach a plateau. And there, maybe our regression needs to be refitted to the point where the power law is not um, uh, yet validating the growth of the crypto market. But for now, the best equation that describes the total crypto market cap, in my opinion, is this power law, which in my opinion, actually that happens because we are standing on the shoulders of a giant, which is Bitcoin. And it helps the crypto industry and altcoins grow because Bitcoin is growing. Altcoins with some innovation or some application that is gonna be widely 
adopted by people in the whole world, it will help continue to continually have this growth. We know, for example, that the DeFi uh, sector did an amazing job in growing the crypto market because it was an innovation that was in the previous cycle that helped people exchange money, swap coins, whatever, with no intermediary and something that is actually working and you can now take loans or whatever in a decentralized way, which is really important, I think, for the crypto market. And the next app, which maybe is going to be in the gaming sector or whatever, it's going to help the crypto market continue to grow with this exponent, which actually is huge. That's why it gave me this conviction of continued developing and adding models to our platform, because I think people who understand that, even as investors or as developers, this graph is giving you the math you need to decide if it's worth it, if this growth is worth it for you to spend time and effort and capital to join this market. And based on my opinion, of course, not financial advice, it's well worth it. And I don't know what sector this growth potential that the crypto market has. I hope I explain the total crypto market cap uh, well. As always, you'll be able to find a video explanation in the platform and description and how to use a section in the platform. Because this model can help us identify bottoms, tops, and then also the potential, the growth potential of the crypto market, which I think it's valuable for anyone that wants to enter the market to know. Hope again you like the video, so give us a thumbs up and leave a comment. And until next time, bye-bye.